have to go to a place where you know men and women are hanging out i have to hopefully present myself nicely i have to start a conversation with different potential prospective mates but i guess we live in a society that's very fast paced so about a decade or two ago we had those speed dates uh events that used to be organized where you get to sit down and very very quickly you've got up to three minutes to meet you know one person after the next the idea being that that will at least facilitate me finding an ideal mate because i'm exposed to so many so in that sense now that i've got social media now that i've got these dating apps that allow me to swipe right or swipe left and i should say i've been married for too long uh for me to have ever used any of those apps uh but based on what i hear from from some of my students uh you can now go to one of those you know tinder and so on and i just keep scrolling until i find the right guy or girl and then i swipe right or swipe left so i think in that sense technology not just social media technology has blown up the what's called in in, in consumer psychology we talked about it we talk about a consideration set a consideration set is the set of options let's say you're choosing between beers so my consideration set might consist of four typical beers that I will seriously evaluate before choosing which be beer I'm going to choose. And all the other beers I'll never consider because I only want to drink German beer or whatever it is. And so I think that social media has expanded the consideration set that most people are working with precisely because I'm exposed to so many more prospective mates.